If there were asbos for animals, how's this baboon for a candidate? A bit of breaking and entering, while his lookout friend keeps watch. Apparently, there's not much worth stealing in the front, but you never know about the back. No, no food there either. But you can tell from the look he gives us that if there had been, it would be gone. The Cape baboons are the badly behaved stars of endless holiday videos. Their lives of crime providing great entertainment for the tourists, but the residents here aren't laughing. Ah, oh, here's one. There's one. Voila. They're fed up with the baboons invading their villages and their homes. People here are getting very angry. They get into the kitchens. They know where the refrigerator is. They open it. They tear it to pieces. They grab whatever food they can. And that's it. And then they move around the house and uh, they p and they defecate all over the place. This was one recent invasion, a whole troop causing havoc as they search for food. They know there's easy pickings in the houses, and even bars on the windows here don't always keep them out. The half-grown ones, believe it or not, get through, and they've gotten into their house several times. One day I was in the kitchen, and I was busy cooking, and the next minute, right on that shelf over there, there was a baboon sitting there looking at me, and the door and everything was locked, so I thought, where the heck did this thing get in? All of the problems are caused by just 350 animals. They're South Africa's last surviving coastal Chakma baboons and a protected species in the Cape, which is why conservationists are opposing the residents' demands for them to be relocated. As a species, um, the human species is, is a very wasteful one. So if something doesn't suit you, the, the traditional way is just to get rid of it. You don't try and adapt your lifestyle in any way, you simply get rid of the problem. And I believe that the baboons offer us a rare opportunity to learn to live alongside another species. Um, and we would be fools not to take that chance. <laughs> Jenny employs a team of monitors who try to herd the baboons away from the villagers. It can be a matter of life or death for the animals here because some of the residents have taken to shooting at them. There are plenty of casualties of this war between the humans and the baboons here, and they're mainly on the baboon side. This is Tammy, and as you can see, she's missing one of her back legs. She was shot four times by an angry resident here. Her femur was shattered, and she was taken to the vets, and her leg was amputated. As you can see, she's doing pretty well without it, but it is an example of the damage, the interaction with humans in this part of the Cape is doing to the baboons here. But neither side is ready to surrender. It's just a fact. Baboons and people don't mix. Try telling that to the baboons, though, if you dare. Emma Hurd, Sky News, in the Western Cape.